All right, today I'm gonna to read you one of my favorite books. I have loved this book since I was a little girl because I identify so much with this character. So here it is. I'll bet you've seen it before. And look, there's a glare. Is that better? No, now there's two glares. All right, The Story of Ferdinand. This is a very old book. And there's all kinds of different books with different illustrations. So this is the one that I have. <laughs> Squeaked. <laughs> I love the, the illustrations. Once upon a time in Spain. Let me move it back a little. Oh, I skipped a page. These pages are slippery. There was a little bull whose name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. Look at him. <laughs> he had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. Hold on, I gotta adjust. Here we go. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and drew and grew until he was very big and strong. Look how big he got. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Here, let me take my camera down a little bit so we don't get the picture cut off. There, I think that's a little bit better. There we go. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. He's a little bit bigger now. <laughs> One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. Look at them. <laughs> All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they would not pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. I love this picture. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Look at the bumblebee. <laughs> Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight in a cart. Do you think he's the right one for the job? Me neither. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. 
to you. They had a parade into the bull ring. Look at that guy. And his horse is all fancy too, see? Oops. All right, you can't make fun of my pronunciation here because I'm a white girl. First came the banderieros with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. I can't roll my R's, so I'm not good at these words. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Then came the Montador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? See him peeking out? He's going, what in the heck is going on? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce. And all the banderieros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely lady's hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. <laughs> he wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled, and the banderieros were mad, and the picadores were madder, and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. See that? And that is my favorite story because I feel a lot like Ferdinand. So I hope you liked it.